where do I begin? <laughs> so back in 2003, 2004, like probably many of us, I remember hearing Ocean Avenue for the first time, and I was in love with the song, obviously, as many people were, um, and little did I know that that one song would transcend into Yellow Card being my favorite band over the years, and it was with a heavy heart that early last summer that they announced that this would be their final album and tour. And it's even with a heavier heart that today on March 25th, 2017, Yellow Card will be done and tonight will be their last show ever. Yellow Card is in a weird sort of limbo um, with me because I remember when, you know, here's the thing. I'm not going to shy away from the fact that, yes, Ocean Avenue was the album that I jumped on when I first heard them because... That album was everywhere. You couldn't get away from Breathing or Only One or Believe or Ocean Avenue. So when, you know, they kept making other songs and obviously I was listening to those and then, you know, they took their hiatus. And what was weird was in that hiatus, like other groups that I loved when I was younger, I sort of kind of moving into other groups of music. Like that was around the time where like sort of the indie rock stuff was becoming prominent um, a lot of the rap stuff that I started getting into and that sort of being a big dive into rap was what I spent a lot of time doing. So I remember revisiting Yellow Card when they had the acoustic album, When You're Through Thinking Say Yes, or the acoustic version of that album and Southern Air. And just remember being like, they still got it. And so it was sort of like a weird like comeback moment because... I, it wasn't like I just didn't care about them anymore, but it was almost as if I rediscovered them. And it was such an important time for me to rediscover them because Yellow Card, I think, has always meant so much to me. Any song or album they put out has meant so much. And, you know, I don't want to be like the sad white boy, you know, pop punk man that's sitting here. I know there's so many people that feel the same way and there's so many people that have probably felt this way about any group or any artist or anybody and, um, you know, we were there during the experimentations. We were there during the, the band member lineup changing, um, you know, LP. Guys, I know, when LP left, it was, it was a big deal. And they came with surprises too. Like one of the most underrated soundtrack songs ever, which was Gifts and Curses off the Spider-Man 2 soundtrack. Still a great song, love it, underrated, go check it out. It's just kind of weird now to sit back and for me to sort of sit here and say that my favorite band is no longer gonna be around. And it's kind of frightening because so much of my life, you know, again, as corny as it sounds, was from them. And I feel like talking in this video, I don't want to be over emotional or pull these cliches out of my head. But guess what? I'm going to keep doing it because that's all I can say. It just boils down to my love of what they've done and just my connection to them. You know, I think Ryan Key as a vocalist is incredible and his lyrics are so vulnerable and childlike in terms of sort of imagination, but they're so mature and intense and raw and emotional and heartfelt. And there's just something poetic about the way he writes. And specifically on albums like When You're Through Thinking Say Yes, for example, an album that is that much, you know, like I feel like I just go through a lot listening to that album. It's just insane and, you know, as instrumentation goes, you know, Sean has just defined this group. Obviously, it's the pop punk band with a violin and he's just a great violin player. And then Ryan Mendez, hometown boy, is a great guitarist. And then obviously neared sort of the tail end of their career, Josh Portman was great. And, you know, I think Nate Young filled in great for these last couple albums and especially some touring stuff. But, I mean, at the end of the day, they have given me much more than I think they know. And 
I'd just like to say thank you guys and thank you yellow card you know it, it, it disappointed me that I was never able to see them up until this last tour I saw them back in November and seeing them live was one of the most visceral and like insane experiences like it was almost like a dream that night and you know I'm I'm not somebody who is constantly on their phone and you know I don't want to sound like that millennial oh my god Brian <laughs> I felt like in that moment there was nothing that I would be able to do in this moment like I don't want to go back and sort of revisit this it's more of this was the first time I ever thought to myself that I just want to experience this in the moment and I only have one thing of proof which was the video of them doing Ocean Avenue at the very end of the concert, which was an insane experience. And it's crazy to think that this band has sort of grown with me and not just I've listened to the same albums as I've grown up. Like, I think they've matured in a beautiful way to things that I can relate to. And they were always there. And I can never repay them enough and I know that they feel a lot of that coming in right now at this point but I guess all I can say without being super emotional and super irritating and over the top is just thank you yellow card I feel like you know no matter who you listen to or no matter what type of music it is there's something that really can connect us to an artist and this was my band this was this was a group that, you know, I've been very showy about. And I hate to I hate to be overly emotional about it because, you know, in a way it's not lame, but it obviously seems lame, like looking at me right now as I'm saying this, but it's just it's hard to let go. But I know that they'll always live on. And I think all their fans know too. So again, guys, um I just wanted to come here to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and all of our hearts as Yellow Card fans and to everybody who's been a part of this journey. You guys have made it something special and you've contributed so much and way more than I think you guys imagine and you guys know. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Yellow Card. Godspeed. And I can't wait to see what you guys do next. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and for tuning into Channel BK. Peace out, guys. Long live Yellow Card.